Hey guys, Hami here. Bit of a different video today. We're jumping into Genji's new hero voice lines and interactions he gets as a character in Heroes of the Storm. You might know him as everyone's favourite pro green cyborg ninja dude from Overwatch. If you're an Overwatch fan, please do give this video a go, let me know what you think, or click the playlist link below for my latest Overwatch videos and lore. Before any game starts in Heroes of the Storm and during the game on various triggers, heroes chat with and react to each other in some funny in-game voice interactions. These give us some great insights into hero character, interests, backstories and more, just like Overwatch. In this video we're looking at Genji through his interactions with fellow heroes. As the youngest son of the master of the Shimada ninja clan, Genji lived a life of luxury and privilege until his playboy lifestyle put him on a collision course with his brother Hanzo. Left for dead by his brother, given a second chance at life by Overwatch, and extensively cyberized, Genji fought as part of Overwatch's covert division, Blackwatch, before destroying his former family empire, leaving the organization, and finding peace finally with his new existence under the mentorship of the Omnic Monk Zenyatta. For those newer to Blizzard games, with Overwatch or otherwise, ever since the original Warcraft RTS games, Blizzard has been known for poke noises. If you click a character multiple times, they utter stranger and funnier things each time, sometimes even getting annoyed. This was in StarCraft Games 2, World of Warcraft and Heroes is no different. So here are Genji's poke lines fresh from the PTR, with a few references as well. Yes? Yo! When I used to play in the arcade, I thought that double jumping was so unrealistic. How young and foolish I was. This body is not a weapon. It's a high-tech prosthesis. That's the best description I can think of. Overwatch saved my life. I was a man barely alive. But they were able to rebuild me. They had the technology. That of course being a reference to the six million dollar man, a NASA astronaut rebuilt with a right arm, both legs and a left eye with bionic implants in the TV series. Sound familiar? My favorite animal? I'd say a gray fox. Of course a little Metal Gear Solid reference there for you fans of that game. I used to confront people in conversation, but these days I tend to deflect. Even after years of training, I have yet to unlock my real ultimate power. Now that's got to be a ancient meme reference. Anyone remember the official ninja webpage with real ultimate power? Vintage my friends. I am seldom mentioned in patch notes. Most of my fixes are ninja in. In hindsight, I should have listened when Hanzo said he had the high ground. Oh wow, now Star Wars prequel memes are leaking. Have you heard the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise? My father once told me a story of two dragons who were grounded for a week because they stayed out past curfew. Ah, very subtle. People keep calling me Mr. Roboto. I'm not even a robot. After leaving Overwatch, I wandered the world for many years because I'm a wanderer. Yes, a wanderer. That's a nice little Fallout 4 reference there if you've heard the trailer music or Diamond City Radio. I'm a wanderer, I like to roam around. As a cyborg ninja, my body is always ready. Of course you are, Genji. Of course you are. Okay, time for Genji's interactions before Heroes of the Storm matches start. Remember, the Nexus in Heroes of the Storm brings together characters from all Blizzard's games and universes, so you get to see a few fun references to each hero's home universe and how they might mix if Overwatch met Warcraft, Starcraft, Diablo, and more. Now, as Genji's so new at the time of this video's creation, not all the responses from other heroes to Genji's lines are in-game yet. Any I've put in apart from traces are ones that exist in-game right now and that work from a generic response pool. Some aren't specific responses. As fellow Overwatch agents, Tracer and Genji are glad to resume their friendly rivalry that we've seen shown in a recent Overwatch comic, Uprising, in the Nexus. Genji! Ready for some sparring practice? Of course. You are the only one I have trouble keeping up with. And is Trace just taking the mick out of Genji's serious nature here? Revenge takes only the one who seeks it. <laughs> you? You're such a joker! Zarya's homeland of Russia was destroyed by Omnics or robots in the first Omnic crisis. She was born not far from the front lines and had to quit on her dream of competing in world championship weightlifting to rush home and defend her country from the current second Omnic crisis happening in Overwatch's story right now. So, no surprise she doesn't trust the cyborg Genji. We don't have the pairs for her lines right now, but it's clear that she's interacting with Genji around his cyborg and human nature. You still do not trust me, do you? You talk too much. 
Do not let anger blind you. In my heart, I am as human as you are. All Overwatch heroes have some generic interactions with each other, and Genji's prepared to fight with Tracer, Zarya, and indeed any other Overwatch heroes who hit the Nexus in future. It seems we fight together again. Our paths cross for now. As to the future, we shall see. April 24th, or the end of April in 2017, we're due for another new hero reveal. I wonder who it's going to be, given that it's an Overwatch themed event right now. Perhaps D.Va? Chen Stormsnout is the iconic and independent wandering brewmaster of Pandaria and the World of Warcraft universe. He's pretty similar to Genji in his wanderings, and Genji spots this on meeting him. You are a strange one, but I sense we are more alike than we are different. <laughs> of course. And Genji seems to be very surprised, more so than Tracer, at seeing so many strange creatures in the Nexus. Are you ready for a little pandemonium? You... You're a panda. He's a panda. In the StarCraft universe, Zeratul is a revered mystic of the Dark Templar, a faction of the Protoss race. In his Ronin armor, his blade wielding skills are united with the armor of a samurai without a master or a wanderer, making him, again, kind of like Genji used to be before he met Zenyatta. And Genji recognizes this armor and has a few questions for Zeratul. That armor looks strangely familiar. I hope you know how to fight in it. Indeed. Are your blades ready, friend? I have... many questions about your armor when this fight is over. Samuro, the last remaining blade master to wear the banner of the Burning Blade Clan from World of Warcraft, is on a warrior's pilgrimage in search of vengeance and redemption. As a fellow student of the blade, the two share some mutual respect when they meet in the Nexus. Your style is... interesting. I am eager to see it in action. So you have heard of the Blade Masters? Then you know not to cross me. It is fortunate our paths cross today. I look forward to this battle. As do I, uh, Green Blade Master dude. Murky the Murloc, who can understand what this Warcraft Fish of Doom says. Genji is suitably surprised and confused by him, like everyone else in Heroes of the Storm. Phew. A uh, fish. I can never eat sushi again. Whatever you said, I'm sure it was enlightening. As one of the Diablo monks of Ivgorod, Karazim has honed his balance and clarity in the pursuit of combat perfection. Genji can recognize a similar serenity around the monk to that of his own master, Zenyatta. Balance and harmony resonate around you. I am pleased to fight with such an ally. This realm has need of warriors like us. Ah, the gods favor me with your presence. You remind me of my master. Though, you have a much better beard. And when Genji reacts to an undead ally, he comments on his own existence too. You are not the only one who has faced death. Now, upon kills, Genji has a few awesome kill quotes. Here are some examples of what happens when he kills different heroes from different universes or specific heroes. Stay away from Hanamura, demon. You are the strangest looking Oni I've ever seen. Honor the fallen. Talking pandas. Feels like I'm the bad guy this time. Forgive me, master. I have struck down one of your kind. Show buddy! When you deal death, you invite it upon yourself. Unfortunate for you. You'll need more practice to evade me. I will not be cut down again. You are now truly dead. I think? It's... hard to tell in this place. And I thought a ninja fights monsters only in myth and legend. Thanks for tuning in to my Genji voice lines and interactions vid, showing off his new lines for Heroes of the Storm. Please do let me know what you thought, whether you're a Heroes fan, Overwatch fan or otherwise in the comments below, and throw a like if you enjoyed. I do a lot of Overwatch lore, hero voice lines and interactions too, so do check out those videos in the playlist below, and if you enjoyed this, do let me know what Heroes of the Storm hero you'd like me to cover next. And don't forget of course there is a new Overwatch, potentially Nexus challenge crossing over with Heroes of the Storm that we'll get details on potentially before the end of April 2017. Cheers for tuning in, I've been Hammy, take it easy.